Hey yo. Oh shit, hold on, hold on. I think I dropped it. Where that, where that, where that? Alright. Yo. Alright, alright. Welcome to a new episode of Thinking Out Loud. This is your boy Cable. This is episode, I believe, 11. I wanted to change the scenery for you guys, you know. Come out here to the outdoors, the great outdoors. We're out here in the snow. Um, well, yeah, today's episode is basically going to be about a couple different things. Kind of like uh, my thoughts on everything that's been going around in the world or the things that I've seen. So I'm going to break it down into like different pieces, right? Let's see. The first thing, you know, this, uh, the whole Diddy situation, right? Uh, P Diddy, whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I seen what's going on with him as everybody else seen it. And yo, listen, I heard a lot of, you know, this is, uh, allegedly, I heard a lot of stories about, about that character and, there's just so much bullshit around him, man, that I just feel like karma is real and karma is, it's finally here, man, you know, and, and, uh, it's here to, it's here to collect, it's here to, you know, I think, I think it's just a lot of bullshit that he's been getting away with behind the scenes and, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, what goes up must come down and, uh, at the end of the day, we all got to face the consequences of our actions, you know? Nobody's untouchable. Nobody. Nobody. That's a lesson learned, man. Nobody's untouchable, man. Uh, and if you if you upset the people that put you in power, they, they will show you how easily and how quick that power will be taken away. You know, so let's see how it all plays out, man. I I think it's over. I think it's over for him, as far as being in the in that circle in the you know Hollywood music industry. That's a done deal after this, you know. And he he most likely he he will go to prison, or he, we might never see him again in in uh, in America. You know, he might never touch American soil again to keep his freedom. So, you know, that's 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 my thoughts, man. You know, you do wrong, you you it's a boomerang, man. You you get what you put out in the universe, you know. And if you're doing shady stuff, if you're doing things that are, you know, negative you will get negativity right back to you. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not in 30 years, but like I said, karma doesn't forget and it's a real thing. So that's that. That's my that's my thoughts on that. I don't want to dwell too much on that one. But you know, I had to I wanted to talk about it and speak, you know, let you guys know what I think about that. So now the other topic that I wanted to talk about is I don't know. Did you guys see that Boston thing that happened, man, with the with the with the cargo ship? That was crazy. My my condolences to the family, to anyone uh, that lost people in that in the in that tragedy. You know, that was horrific. Uh, I saw the footage a couple of days ago, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, yo, that's crazy. You know, uh, some people are thinking that it could be. Uh, an attack of some sort who knows uh i don't know i heard a lot of things on it but to tell you the truth i really don't know you know like uh, all i know is that it happened and people lost lives you know uh, people lost their lives in that in that accident or i mean in that tragedy and it's very unfortunate and you know the economy is probably going to suffer because they lost that bridge as well and that bridge was like, a, I don't know if it was a port uh, or some sort or something. I'm not sure. But, you know, my condolences, first and foremost, my condolences to to the families, you know, that lost uh, loved ones in that, in the Boston uh, tragedy. And uh, what else, man? What else I need to talk about with you guys? Uh, 
man, it's a lot. Big. A lot of things been going on, man. Um, what's it? Yeah, have you guys heard about that eclipse that's happening? August eighth. If you guys don't know about that eclipse, man, it's it's kind of scary. Uh, not just because it is an eclipse that's happening on the eighth, uh, but it's just I heard that there's a prophecy that's being fulfilled in the Bible uh, with that eclipse. Um, I also heard about the moon turning red because of rust, and scientists don't really know why that's happening. I mean, they got. A couple of theories of why it might be happening, but they're kind of like clueless about why and how this is happening, you know. And it's in the Bible, you know, that the the, the moon will turn to blood, and it's just a lot of craziness happening in the world. I feel, you know, like it is every day. There's something new, you know, going on every day, every day, man. It's like. We're almost numb to the bullshit, you know what I mean? People are almost like, I feel like everybody's like numb to like tragedy and chaos. And sometimes I feel like, I don't know, man. I don't know if you guys believe in like the multiverse and like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, oh, by the way, CERN, uh, that's another thing, man. CERN is, uh, is starting back up again on the 8th of August, on the day of the eclipse. Um, a lot of people think that's a little odd and a little weird because, you know, CERN, and if you don't know about CERN, it's a company that basically is trying to figure out what is the universe made out, out of. Uh, they're trying to figure out the beginning. Um, just uh, just trying to figure out how, the, how this universe works. So they're... Uh, clashing particles together there's a lot of conspiracy talk about them and um dealing with the mandela effect and they're saying that that's why we have an, uh, a mandela effect because they keep uh fucking up with reality and messing with it and you know because of the smashing of the particles that they're smashing who knows uh some people think that they're demonic and that they're trying to like open up portals to uh summon some craziness i don't know I don't know. I mean, maybe it could be. I, I, I keep an open mind to all these things because, you know, uh, I believe anything and everything is possible in this on, on this planet, you know? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know how to feel. But I, if they are doing it on the 8th, it does cause some type of concern because it's like, what the? Like, what, what, why? You know? Could you wait until the the, the eclipse is over. I was going to say the apocalypse. <laughs> no, but couldn't you wait till the, till the eclipse is like over with and then maybe pick another day? I don't know. Maybe it was on purpose, you know? Uh, but who knows, man? Uh, what's another thing that I want to, you know, talk about? <sighs> Economy's all fucked up, you know? Uh, everybody's struggling. Everybody uh, is struggling really bad, man. And, uh, yeah. I, yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about this thing too about artists, you know. And I'm going like rapid fire, you know, because I just want to, I just want to kind of like clear my head with you guys talk. Uh, yo, I feel like I'm an artist, right? I rap, I do music, I produce, I film, I edit, I direct, I make my own. You know, I got my own brand. I do my own T-shirts. I learned all these things because I had to, not necessarily because I wanted to learn how to do all these things, but I know to, I know that it takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of capital for us, you know, as artists to get videos done and all these other things, you know, so I decided to learn that myself. So one thing I've been noticing about streaming services, you know, and algorithms, everybody's lying. You know, everybody's paying for everybody's paying for numbers to get boosted. You know, everybody has fake followers for the most part. Very difficult and very hard not to find someone nowadays that doesn't have fake followers. And uh, one thing I noticed, right? If you guys follow me on Instagram, it used to be K A B L E one. We're like number one, you know, 
and I had to, I had three uh thirteen uh, thirteen hundred followers or some sh- you know yeah thirteen hundred followers is what I had, and I noticed that my numbers never moved, and I was like, yo, what's going on? And then I, I was getting no interaction, so I realized that my my account was blocked, not blocked, but it was restricted. And they couldn't help me. They couldn't do anything about it. And it's been that way for four years or three, three and a half uh, since 2021, according to them. But to tell you the truth, I was never able to promote. I was never able to promote anything that I had on that platform. Uh, they always had a problem with every everything, you know. So I, I always thought that it was like maybe because I wear a mask. Maybe they want to see my face. Like, I don't know what it is. But the point is, man, like, what I want to say is that... Um, don't believe the hype man like a lot of people are just out here paying for everything man you know it's like the day of of organic growth is like pretty much over with you know don't feel bad that you don't have as many followers as 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 the other artists do sometimes you know because the truth is man everybody's paying for this stuff you know you got to pay to play that's just the way it is nowadays you know and I also feel that in 2024 and 2025, thanks to me and th- thanks to like other artists, physicals are going to come back. Conscious rap, conscious hip hop is definitely making a huge comeback in 2025, 2024, at the end of 2024, you know. You know why? Because it's the cool thing is going to be to keep your soul. The cool thing is is going to be independency. I don't have a label. I don't want a label. You see what's going on in this industry? This industry is is filled with with um, demons, man. Y'all see that Nickelodeon thing? Y'all see that? If y'all haven't seen the Nickelodeon uh, documentary, man, it's crazy. It's 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 a lot of weird stuff, man. A lot of negative energy. Just that industry is filled with. Uh, what I like to call them is uh, demons in human costumes. Shout out to Killer Priest, you know. But yeah, man, I don't. I think that's gonna definitely be the new thing. It's gonna be the cool thing. Like yo, physicals, like I said, are gonna come back. Buying physical copies from artists that nobody really knows about. Uh, you listening to something original? You listening? Like when people ask yo, who you listening to? People taking off their headphones and being like, nah, you don't know nothing about this, man. This dude is like underground, man. He's like, he's he's independent. Like, he, he nobody really knows about him. I think that's going to be the new call. Oh, he ain't signed. Nah, he ain't selling his soul to these demons. Like, nah, you don't know nothing about that. Like, I think that's going to be the dope thing to do. And, oh, where could I find them? Oh, you got to go to his website. You know, is directly he 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 interacts directly with his with his with his uh, audience. That's the new wave, twenty twenty four, twenty twenty five. That's going to be the new wave. Independent artists doing their thing, you know. And then I have a feeling that artists that are signed, the labels are going to try to make them look like they're not signed. You know, they're going to try to make them look like, oh, they're independent, which we all know that's bullshit. You know what I mean? They got all the connects. They got all the leverage. So you're not independent. Not the way I am, not the way the real independent artists are. You know, so but they're gonna try it. For sure they're gonna try it, you know, because that's gonna be the new wave. Man, y'all see this play? Yo, I'm in the I'm in the mountains right now. Let me let me give you guys a look of what I'm looking at. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let me give you guys. Look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful out here. Oh, it's a little chilly out here too. It's like about forty-four degrees. Forty, probably. It probably uh, dropped because it, it feels really cold. You know, we got snow. Yeah, pretty dope shit, you know what I mean? I love the view out here. Yeah. Hey, by the way, guys, real quick, 
Have you guys seen uh you have you guys seen the new X Men? If you guys haven't seen the new X Men series on uh Disney Channel, it's called X Men ninety seven. I did a review on it on the first episode. And I believe the second one, I'm not sure. But yo. Episode three is fire. So if you guys haven't seen that episode, uh you could uh you could cut the video off right now and go see it. Cause I'm about to talk about it. Listen guys. Best X Men anything that I've seen is X Men ninety seven. It definitely surpasses the original animated series from the nineties. It just elevates it. You know what I'm saying? It elevates it for real. The the cartoons look sharp. The voice acting, eh, you the voice act the voice acting is the only thing that I feel like the one from the nineties was sharper. You know, uh, like Rogue sounds a little weird. Uh, 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 not, even Gambit sounds a little a little weird, a little off from what I remember. But he still sounds cool. But the the two characters that I kind of have an issue with with their vocals, their voices, is uh, Wolverine and and Rogue. They sound a little weird, you know. Everybody else sounds dope though. I'm not gonna front. Uh, the third episode, um, you know, I love it. The 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 X Men Mansion becomes like a haunted house because the clone of Rogue. I mean, I'm sorry, the clone of Jean. You know, if you guys haven't seen the in, in the first episode and in the second episode, I, no, it's the second episode. We find out that Jean it, has been cloned because the original Jean pops up at the front door steps and she's like, I need help. So now everybody's like, yo, then who the fuck is this girl right here that you just had a baby with? You know, talking about uh, Cyclops, like, yo, Cyclops, who you, who you just had a kid with? Like, this is, that's a clone. So they find that she's a clone uh, that was created by Mr. Sinister, which, by the way, super dope character. Um, he's basically a scientist um, that he studies genetics and human evolution. So basically, he likes doing experiments on people. And uh, the people that he is really interested in, for whatever reason, is Gene and Cyclops, you know? And he created he created the clone gene and swapped them. We that that's one thing we don't know when they got swapped. We don't know that. You know what I mean? But he swapped the real gene with the fake gene. Cyclops had a baby with the fake gene. This girl uh, finds out that she's a clone. Mr. Sinister is able to control her for a while in the in the in the third episode so she starts fucking with everybody's head and so it the the episode turns into like a horror horror episode you know like it was really really dope really dope i love it so far i'm loving the i'm loving the series man uh they do show a little bit of um i don't think anybody has spoke about it but i guess i'll talk about it um morph you know they do show that he at, he might be i don't know that scene that he went to the showers and the wolverine was there that was all in his head i think that scene is basically saying that he he might have a, like a crush on on wolverine that's kind of like the way i took it like you know like morph low-key likes wolverine you know I don't know. That's just the way they kind of put it, but it's kind of up to your interpretation. You know, he could have just been joking around with Wolverine in the, in, the, in that scene, but who knows, you know. But uh, nothing, nothing crazy, man. Nothing crazy. I, I really like the pace of the of the cartoons. I really love how how uh, close it is to the comic books. How many stories they're pulling from from the from the comics. It's just so good, man. It's really good. I really enjoy it. Uh, it takes me back to being a kid, you know? Uh, the story about Rogan and... The story that's developing about Rogue and Magneto is kind of interesting to me. I want to see where that goes because, you know, Gambit is getting cheated on, you know, basically, you know? Uh, Rogue is cheating on Gambit. Uh, he suspects it, but I don't think he... I don't think he wants to admit it, 
you know he's in the like in the in a denial stage right now so we'll see where that goes but yeah super dope super dope if you guys haven't seen x-197 it's definitely a must watch if you're into uh comic books and if you're into marvel and just you know just the whole um marvel thing and comic books period man if you like animation and stuff like that that's a hundred percent must watch <clears throat> but yeah i don't know what else to talk about man i think i covered pretty much everything that was up here in my head um so i don't know y'all y'all stay tuned if y'all like this type of content uh you know subscribe to the channel hit that notification button for every time that i come on and you know till next time man and also before i say till next time i say peace to you guys one thing that i i will be doing in precaution on uh april 8th i'm not going i'm not working on april 8th i'm staying home and i think i think we should all stay home on april 8th just to make sure that we're good and we're with our families in case of anything with this eclipse that happens so y'all be safe love one another take care of each other be kind to people you don't never know what people are going through you know uh but don't take no shit from people either but just you know keep that in your head you know be kind you know that's always good and much love and respect till next time peace